What's up guys, Dom back from the Lee Sofa. It has been too long. It has been way too long. I've been gone. I'm sorry. I apologize. Just been caught up with a bunch of stuff, but let's continue our steroid series. Today it's going to be Turinobol, so let's get right into it. <laughs> Now again, before I start this video, like I always say, please like, share, and subscribe. Now with my videos, I will be giving free steroid cycle advice. That is free steroid cycle advice. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me on my Instagram. I'm going to leave it right here. Go follow there. Send me a direct message on Instagram. That's where I reply to, and I will be giving free cycle advice for anyone who does that. Turinobol, also known as T-Ball, is an oral C17 alkylated steroid. Uh, now, what this is commonly used for, it actually was so, so, so important to the Russians during the Olympics. I believe it was in the 70s. A bunch of them were using it. Excuse the nipple, goddamn. A bunch of them were using it. A bunch of them got busted for it. It's one of the few steroids that is known for his athletic performance. Now, T-ball is more of a recomposition steroid. You can put on a little bit of size, you can put on a little bit of lean muscle as well. It's great for that reason, um, but mostly for the most part, people are gonna be using it for athletic performance purposes. That's what it's mainly used for. That is the biggest thing when it comes to T-ball. Why people love it is it is number one oral, so it's very easy to use, especially as beginners. It doesn't have a lot of side effects. Anabolic to androgenic ratio, it's about 56 anabolic and a six on the androgenic side. So women can use it. Uh, would I suggest a woman use it? No, not if you don't want to turn into a man, although women do use it. Um, if you're a girl and you really, really, really want to get on and stick with SARMs, but like I said, up to you there unless you want to turn into a man eventually. Side effects with this, it's non-estrogenic, so you'll be okay there. Um, accelerated hair loss if you are prone to it. Liver toxic, it is a C17 alkylated steroid. Body hair growth, acne for women who do use this. Uh, viralization, which means the deepening of the voice and clitoral enlargement as well. Also missing your period too, so... Be careful there. Testosterone suppression. You do not want to be taking T-ball without testosterone ever, okay? You don't take any steroids without testosterone. Testosterone is the base of all steroids. Know that, understand that. That is a key factor. But other than that, it's a quite mild. I would say the G-spot for dosage is 60 milligrams a day. It's got a half-life of 16 hours. Uh, I always like to split that up into two, one earlier in the day, one later at night. But I mean, technically you could take it all in the morning, but two is definitely going to be the best protocol to dose it at. So 60 milligrams is really like where you're going to see it. Never run any, uh, although this oral steroid isn't super liver toxic, it is still liver toxic. I always like to run them for about 30 days. I would never, ever, ever, ever run it longer than 45 days. Um, that's just me personally because I don't think it's worth it. You gotta care about your health. Also with this steroid, uh, it does increase your LDL, which is a bad cholesterol, and decrease your HDL, which is a good cholesterol. You wanna be careful of this because if you have a lot of bad cholesterol in your system, you're more prone to having a heart attack. We wanna be careful with these things. Just very, 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 when it comes to steroids, make sure you're getting your blood work done, things like that. And that's T-ball for you, right, guys? So please like, share, and subscribe. And until then, I am out of here.